Hello and welcome back. In this in this video, we are going to understand about uh, we're going to start with chapter one, which is the the subtopic would be multimedia and definitely it's starting with graphics. And so this is A level computer science nine six one eight. So let me write it down. A level computer science. Okay, and our chapter is uh, chapter one. It is chapter one, which is information representation. Okay, and our subtopic would be uh, in the previous video we discussed about data representation, but now uh, our next subtopic would be 1.2, which is multimedia, and this is graphics. Okay, so we are starting with what is graphic? What are graphic? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we are talking about bit bitmaps and vector graphics. So let's start with uh, what are bitmap images. Okay. So let me write it down. What are bitmap images? So whenever we talk about bit bitmap images, uh, then we really then what we really means is pixels. You know, bitmap images are those images which are made up of tiny little boxes, which are which are known as pixels. So let me write it down. So we are talking about pixels. Okay, and what are pixels? Pixels are just small blocks of attributes. Uh, let me write it down. These are small blocks of addressable areas and the color they have represented by binary okay this is what a pixel is so bitmap images are generally the bitmap images are you know the bitmap images are organized as a grid of colored squares called pixels okay so we are talking about pixels colored squared which are called pixels or you can call it or you can call it picture element okay so yes this is what a pixel is and okay so bitmap images are made up of pixel which are the number uh, these are small squares these are small uh, bitmap images so okay so whenever we try to so whenever we try to zoom in or enlarge a bitmap image the pixels are stretched and made into larger blocks okay this is why bitmap images appear as poor quality when enlarged too much okay so right now we're just talking about pixels okay these are square pixels Okay, so these are pixels. Okay, so bit this is what bitmap image is made of. All right. Okay, let's talk about what are what are file header. Or maybe not file header. Let's start with 
color depth and bit depth okay then we are going to start with after doing with after done with the image resolution and screen resolution okay and then we are going to start with uh, we're going to understand what is a file header okay we already know what is a pixel we don't decide file header image resolution screen resolution color tip uh, color depth and bit depth okay then after understanding these then we're going to uh, understand how to calculate the file size or even estimate the file size for a bitmap image you know the file size we use a different color file size then we're going to understand about uh, dpi and ppi okay then we're going to understand about vector graphics and then the difference between bitmap images and vector graphics okay i mean and what are the uh, the difference between these inside a vector graphic we're going, we're going to understand about what is a drawing object a property of an object and a drawing list okay and that's it so let's start with color depth and bit depth let's start with these okay let me write it down in here let me use a beautiful color so color depth and bit depth so what is a color depth color tab is uh, simply means that number of bit used to represent a pixel is known as a color tab so number of of bits used to represent a pixel is called the color tab okay uh in mathematical term it would mean that 2 of power n so this n I mean, is equals to number of colors number of colors available okay so this n is the color depth in bits okay so this is what what it really means this is what the color depth is so let's say if the color depth is 1 so 2 of power 1 is equal to 2 uh, 2 available colors which means it would be black and white so using the color depth we can find if we can make unique colors okay the greater the greater the color tab the more unique colors would be available for us to use it in any uh in any anywhere okay so let's suppose if the color tab is let's suppose that it is mm, two of power one let's say the color tab is two of power one then it would be two colors which means it would be black and white So, okay, and the other is, let's say, this is, okay, I cannot, let's suppose, let's suppose it's white. So, this is going to be zero, this is going to be one. Okay, and these are pixels. 
these are pixels okay so this is a pixel pixel black pixel white and each pixel represent binary code so black will represent zero and one will uh, and and white will represent one zero and one okay so these are two available colors uh, when having the bit uh, when having the color tab or uh, is equal to one okay so what happens if for example we have the color tab e uh, two two of power 16 how many colors would we have okay so if we uh, if we have a two of power four then we would get uh, uh, 16 colors it could be red uh, it could be uh, I mean it could be uh, red or orange green etc etc so having the two power four we will get 16 total available colors okay which means each pixel each pixel representing four bit okay each box is representing four bits like for example like uh, for example this is orange this is the bit and this bit will be represented by four digits let's say one zero one one four bit per pixel okay so four bit per pixel and if we keep on increasing the num uh, the, the color tab we will get more available colors like for example if we have two of power eight then we will get 256 available colors we will get more colors if for example we would have 2 of power uh, 24 then you will get 1677721616 uh, available colors we will get more colors okay so having a, a color tab of 8 means which we are representing a pixel a pixel in 8 bit one two three four five six seven eight okay we, re we are representing a pixel in 8 bit this is the pixel and these are 8 bit per pixel okay so this is color depth this is what color depth really means and now let's talk about what is bit depth okay so bit, uh, the bit depth is a little bit different than color depth when we are talking about color depth it simply means that we are representing bits per pixel like for example if we have a color depth of one then we will uh, we are representing uh, one bit per pixel we are if we have a color depth of five we, we are representing i mean five pi uh, five bits per pixel okay but when we call when we talk about bit depth so it simply means that we are going into the rgb color scheme okay so it, it's always uh, it's always about rgb color scheme It means that uh, red green and blue the all these three will merge together to make one pixel will combine to make one pixel so their combinations will make so many different colors their combinations will make so many different colors okay so this is what rgb color scheme is and it's always the bit tab the this word is always used for the rgb color scheme so it's, let's say it's, it's, let's suppose that if i'm saying that uh, uh that this image has a bit depth of eight okay so eight bit per color per color okay i mean uh let me write it down is that the number of bits used to use to store each of the red green and blue primary colors in the RGB 
scheme. Conclusion uh, the color depth the color depth of each bit per pixel provide to fifty six different colors. Okay, which means two of power eight is equal to two fifty six. But a bit depth of eight bit per of eight bit per primary color provide so whenever we say about whenever we said it uh, that the color type of 8 bit so it means that 2 of power 8 it is, is equal to 56 different colors okay but when we say about a bit type of 8 bit it simply means that 8 bit which means uh, each uh, pick i mean the red green and and blue will have power 8 multiply by 2 of power 8 multiply by 2 of power 8 so it will make 1 6 7 7 7 2 1 6 number of colors different types of colors Okay, so it really so what 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 it really means that each uh, I mean each of the RGB channels has two fifty six shades. Okay, so I hope what you mean by shades. Each of these RGB channel, the red, the green, the blue has two fifty six shades. Two of power eight is equal to two fifty six. Two fifty six shades. So making the combination, we will we will uh, we will we will be able to make this amount of different types of colors. Okay, when 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 we make a combination of combination of this. Okay, so and what is mean? What is the meaning of shade? Uh, it means mixture of mixture of pure colors to which only black is at a depth of eight bit. It really means that we will get at least this amount of number of colors and each bit would be uh, the 8 bit would be represented to each uh, RGB color okay the red green blue each one will get 8 bit of color depth okay so this is the 8 this is the color depth for each one which will make this number of colors okay you just, you just need to remember that okay you will be asked about uh, you will be given question like these that that this image has a bit depth of 8 bit so when we uh, so bit, having a bit depth of 8 bit it means the bit depth of 8 bit per color per primary color okay the red color the green color the blue color so they all get they all will get 8 bit okay and then uh, and you know uh, they will get this amount of shades each one will get this amount of shade and then uh, their combinations will make over 16 million colors okay something like this okay so this is what i'm talking about these are these are called shades so having a 8 bit depth which means this amount of shades and having a 24 bit depth which means having so many shades okay so each of these rgb channels have been given 256 shades so when when we are making the combination their combination then it will make at least at least 16 million colors okay after making the combination of these red green blue colors okay and their shades so this is bit depth and this, this is the difference between color depth and bit depth when we're talking about color depth then then we are simply using i mean we are just representing uh, 8 bit per pixel but when we're talking about bit depth so it really means that 8 bit will be given to each rgb channels and their combinations will make that color per pixel okay so it's all about you know the combination the their combination will make one pixel okay so these are just sub pixel these are sub pixel and their combination will make one pixel okay all right so this is okay so the composite of the three rgb values create the final color for that one pixel area so let's suppose that the value of r is 
let's suppose the value of r is 255 and you know 255 and and the blue you know is zero then the the combination of these shades will make yellow and similarly the same thing if we have this this value this value and then we will get orange so having different combinations of shades of these red green blue will get different colors okay the pixels rgb data value shows how much red green uh, it shows how much red green and blue and the and the three colors in an intensity level will be combined at that image pixel at that uh, of uh, at that pixel location okay so it all depends on the intensity level you know shades and then it will be combined to make one color pixel okay so this you know 2 of power is equal to 56 color so 8 bit is, it is representing one pixel okay but in bit in, in bit depth when we talk about let's say that we have a bit depth of 8 bit then, then it really means that uh, having 8 bit of of these rgb channels uh, each one will get 8 bit so 2 of power 8 which means 256 uh, mixture of uh, 256 uh, shades for each individual uh, rgb channels and the combination of these shades will make one pixel okay so that's the difference so let's go so okay so we just understood what, what is the difference between current color depth and bit depth now image resolution and screen resolution let's start with this so what is the image resolution and the screen resolution resolution is the number of pixels the number of pixels of pixels that that make up the image that make up that make up an image For example, for example, an image which have the dimensions of uh, of four thousand ninety six multiplied by three thousand one hundred and ninety two pixels. Okay, so this is the image resolution. Okay, four thousand ninety six pixel wide, and this is three thousand one ninety two pixels. <coughs> okay, so this is the image resolution, and if we and if we try to multiply these, then you will get uh, the this number of pixels. Okay. 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 So this is image resolution, and what is screen resolution? Screen resolution is you know how many pixel the screen display horizontally and vertically. Okay. So obviously the screen resolution. I mean. There are so many different kind of screens, right? Mobile phones, uh, TVs, PC, all different kind of devices have different screen resolutions. Yeah, so it really depends. So we need to have a proper screen resolution and image resolution in order to get a fine image. Okay. So screen resolution is how many the how many the screen display, uh, how many pixel? I'm so sorry, how many pixel the screen display horizontally and vertically? Uh, the screen resolution could be 480p, 720, uh, 720p, 1080p, or 2060p, which, which is known as 4K. So these are all screen resolutions. Okay. Okay. Uh, bearing in mind the definition and the concept of image resolution and screen resolution, image resolution is all about that the number of pixels that make up an image. Okay, uh, and as for the screen resolution, is how many pixel, uh, how many pixel the screen display horizontally and vertically. All right. Okay. So let's suppose if the screen resolution is smaller than the image resolution, if the screen resolution is smaller than the image resolution, let me write it down. If it is smaller than image resolution, <coughs> then the image, uh, then the whole image cannot be shown on the screen. Obviously, if the screen is too small for the image, then how will it going to, uh, 
will appear on how will the image appear on the screen if it is not if the screen resolution is too small for it to cover all to cover all of it so that's why the whole image cannot be shown on the screen or the original image will have lower quality okay well it will now be a lower quality in order to because it will have to cut some pixels in order to fit into that screen resolution all right and what happens if having a lower resolution of an image and you have a big screen resolution what what happens then uh, if you have a lower resolution of an image and zooming in to enlarge it to full screen size it will make image pixelated okay so having a uh, yeah okay so these are the two points if the screen resolution is smaller than the image resolution then the whole image cannot be shown on the screen or the original ima will, image will, will, will now be a lower quality but if having a lower resolution of an image and zooming in to enlarge it to full screen side then it, it will make image pixelated so these are the two points okay <coughs> okay and one more thing uh, is whenever we're talking about the image resolution so we need to take uh, we need to understand two more things uh, these are ppi and dpi so what is the difference between these two and what do we mean by pp and dpi ppi means pixel per inch and dpi means dot per inch ppi is used to measure in uh, as a pixel density i mean it tells the quantity uh, the quality of an image this is a pixel density and it is used for the digital images used for digital images okay while in dpi it is used when we are using the printer okay it is used for printer and whenever we try to print something out you know any any image in the in the paper form then we use dot per inch this this really means dot per inch so these two terminologies are used uh, uh, it simply means the image quality okay the greater the ppi or the dpi the better the image quality the better the, the greater the, uh, the pixel density i mean uh, number of pixel per per square inch the great the the more detail it will have in the image okay the the more sharp it will look okay so that's the difference so ppi is refer both uh, to the fixed number of pixel that a screen can display in the density of pixel the digital image dpi consists primarily for printing resolution value of a physical <coughs> printer okay all right so we just understood about image resolution and screen resolution and uh, let's do some questions okay so we have done the image resolution and the screen resolution we understood now we need to understand about okay it's done this file here we understand this later let's see the file size okay Let's do some questions. Let's say question one. A picture has width 2048 pixels and height 512 pixels. It is saved as a 256 image. color image calculate the file size in kilobytes okay now let's recap the question the a picture has to weigh 2048 pixels and high to 512 pixels it is saved as a 256 color image color depth okay calculate the file size in kilobytes so we have the image resolution which is 2000 multiplied by 512 okay it is saved as a 256 color images okay so this will this will be the total num this will be the total number of pixels and each pixel will represent 8 bits this 256 color image which means 2 of power 8 will give 256 color so the color depth is 8 so multiply this by 8 bit Again, after uh, multiplying it, we will get the total number of bit. Now we have to convert it into byte. So divide this by byte, and then we have to convert this into kilobyte. So 1024 bytes. 
it will be converted into kilobytes now bear in mind that uh, that calculator is definitely not not allowed in the in the paper so you need to do it by theory and i mean you need, you need to, you, got, you you need to do this by in a logical way and try your best to do this to try to you know estimate okay uh, there are, there are two things to understand uh, whenever we try to uh, calculate the file size either we try to uh, make make an estimation of that by using by using decimal prefix like for example 1000 kilobyte or 1000 megabyte but uh, but if but we need to make sure we need to uh, put in put in mind that the first thing that we ever try to calculate the file size is by uh, calculating the actual file size i mean we always try our best to do this in a in a binary prefix try to calculate the uh, the file size in binary prefix but in just in case if we could not succeed or maybe it would be too difficult to divide to make a division obviously it's going in decimal points so we so we so we will use uh, we will try to estimate the file size file size by using decimal prefix okay so right here i'm i'm going to start with binary prefix i'm going to try my best to calculate the actual file size instead of uh, making estimation so let me use indices okay let me show you how to solve this so 248 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 uh, 256 512 1048 okay so you got the power of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so we got a power of 2 of power 11 multiply by okay 512 so this is 9 2 of power 9 multiply by we got a 2 of power 3 upon 2 of power 3 multiply by 1024 2 of power 10 2 of power 10 okay so this is cancelled out and uh, we will get 2 of power 10 which means 1024 kilobytes or you can say kibibytes. bytes okay this is kibibytes. bytes kibi bytes this is the answer this is how you do the question okay you are using an apple an apple iphone 8 which has 5.5 inch screen size and screen resolution of 1920 multiplied by 1000 of 1080 pixels calculate calculate the pixel density of a given screen okay so we need to find the uh, the pixel density of a given screen uh, you can call it ppi since we are talking about the digital image okay in which is shown on the screen screen resolution okay so you are using an apple iphone 8 it, this is a device which has a screen resolution of 1920 to 1080 pixel and it has a 5.5 inch screen size so we need to find the pixel density we need to calculate the pixel density so let me show you how to calculate it because it could be possible that these kind of questions could appear in the paper so we can just uh, I, I don't want i can't take any chances that i should drop this question so we need to make sure that we are prepared for each and everything okay whenever we try to solve the question on the paper so let's suppose that this is the question that have came on the paper and now we are going to solve this how to solve this first of all we are going to see the that what what is the resolution here this is the resolution 1090 uh, 1920 and 1080 okay so this is the screen resolution and now we are going to make we are going to calculate the diagonal we are going to calculate the diagonal okay it's all part of the process so calculating the diagonal we are actually we are just we are just calculating the pixel density ppi so 1920 square 1080 square and then we divide this by inch which is given 5.5 uh, inch screen size okay 5.5 inch screen size divide this by 5.5 
and you will get a pixel density ppi which is pixel per square and higher pixel me higher pixel density means higher quality image this is how you calculate the pixel density just in case if you have been asked this uh, you have been asked this in the paper so i hope you get you'll be better prepared for this yeah okay so let's do another question it a value for the minimum size Okay, so we have this question. Calculate a value for the minimum size for the minimum size of a bitmap file. The bitmap file uh, is the bit, but the, the bitmap is the bitmap is to is to the bitmap is to use a bit tab of it and a bitmap of calculate a value for the minimum size of a bitmap file. The bitmap is to use a bit tab of it and the bitmap is to be printed in with 70, 72 dpi dots per inch. And to have dimensions 5 inch by 3 inch. Okay, so for we call it so 72 dpi multiplied by 5, you will get rho by and then multiplying 72 by 3, you will get a column base rows by column. I mean, height and breadth. Yeah, so let me calculate this. So 72, so it's going to be like this 72 multiplied by 5. Sorry multiply by 3 multiply by 72 okay after getting the image resolution then what we're going to do is so this is the bit tab of 8 okay okay so we got the number of pixels after multiplying multiplying all of this and the bit tab of 8 it means that you will get at least 24 bits per pixel since each bit uh, is for the is for the RGB channels for each color 8 2 of power 8 multiplied 2 of power 8 multiplied 2 of power 8 is equals to the number of colors so each bit represent at least uh, 8 plus 8 plus 8 24 bits so you're going to multiply this by 24 since it's saying the bit depth of 8 okay after multiplying this by 24 you got the total number of bits in you know and you can just convert this in uh, you can convert this in uh, in byte form or kilobyte but first of all let us let me just for example make a multiplication so 72 is is being multiplied by 5 so 5 to the 10 send further 35 36 hundred got this and then 75 uh, 72 multiplying by 3 Okay, so you are multiplying 72 by 3, so it's uh, 3 to the 6 and 73 is uh, 7, 7, 7 to the 14, 7, 3 to 21, so 21 to 1, 6. Then you just multiply it by 24, right? Okay, so you got here 360 multiplying by 2, 1, 6, multiply by 2, 4. Okay, and uh, then you're just going to multiply all of this, so 360 and 2, 1, 6 being multiplied. 6 to the 36 6 1 to the 6 6 to the 18 90 20 21 okay 1 0 0 1 6 to the 6 1 3 to the 3 2 0 0 6 to the 12 2 3 to the 6 so you get 7 and you will get 0 6 7 5 6 7 and 7 Okay, so we get the number of pixels and the answer is this seven 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 six zero seven 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 six zero multiply by twenty-four. Okay, if we try to multiply this by twenty-four you will get number of bits, but if you want it uh, in byte form, so instead instead of twenty-four you can just write it down, you can like multiplying this by three. 
3 bytes. This is 24 bits, so 3 bytes. And 3 bytes is equal to 24 bits. So if multiplying this, you will get uh, without a calculator. 3 is 0, 6 is 18. 7 is 7, 7 is 40, 7 is 21. 7 is 21, 23. 2, 23, 23, 25. So it's going to be 12, 18. 7, 3 is 21, so it's 22 right here. 6 is 0, so 6 is 18, 6, 1, 6, 12, 18. 7 is 7, 7 is 40, 7 is 21. So 21. Okay. So it is 22, 7 is 21. It's again 21. And you will get 23. 7 is 21. You will get 23 here. This is going to be 23. Okay, so this is the answer. This is in byte form. And now let's suppose that you want to uh, get this in a kilo ki or kb bytes. Uh, since we cannot uh, make an actual, cannot find the actual file because it would be too difficult for us to make a division by uh, 1024 uh, value, right? Uh, instead of that, we can just do some do the estimation uh, in in finding the memory of the file size. Okay, so I'm going to divide this by thousand just to get a kilobyte. Divide this by thousand. And you will get one, two. You will get two hundred and thirty-three. You will get two hundred and thirty-three point two eight kilobyte KB. So this is the estimated file size. This is the answer. All right. Good. So that was the question. This is how we try to uh, find the file size of any, you know, of any image. So what we have done here, it says if may calculate the value for a minimum size of a bitmap file. The the bitmap is to be used at bit tab. Either it will be set a bit tab or, or it will be set the color tab. If it is uh, if 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 it is written color tab, then you will just going to uh, you will just uh, going to multiply after you know after knowing the image resolution you're going to multiply by 8 and you if you want to know how much color will it uh, produce and 2 of power 8 is equal to 256 colors okay but if now but 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 if it says bit depth instead of bit uh, instead of color depth so bit depth of 8 it means 8 for each rgb channels each for each uh, primary colors red green blue and each of them will get 8 bit and 2 of power 8 is equal to 56 shades for each color and the combination of these shades will make huge amount of number of colors okay okay and the bitmap is to be printed with 72 dpi either it will say ppi or dpi or maybe with, without uh, some time they don't it, they just give you the image resolution directly okay and in the dimension 5 inches by 3 inches you all know how to do it you just multiply this and you know mm -hmm. And now, okay, we just know how to calculate the file size. It's done. The file header. Let's say. Let's see what is the file header. So let me write down here the file header. Okay. So what is the file header? The file header is something that when whenever we go to the gallery, you can just you can just make an experiment right now, or uh, you can see it for yourself. Just if you are, if you are watching this in a mobile phone, uh, in in the Android mobile phone, then you can just go to the gallery and uh, and, pr and click on any, any image and then see that details. That detail is the file header of that image. It it tells you about the MBs number of MBs. Um, I mean how much uh how much of the, of the file size how much file size is uh, for that image and what is the resolution and uh, what type of compression it, it it has used and the type and what is the color depth and where is the location of that image data within the file and also it specifies the image size number of colors the resolution and all that it's all uh, it all combined uh, all of this is uh, you can call all of this as a combined as whole list uh, it is known as a file header okay that's a file header so let me write down the definition. It specifies the image size. 
the image size number of colors number of colors and other data needed to display the image data okay so what we have here is the color depth it has what is the type of compression it has used used the file format like if it is png or jpeg what type of file format it has used what type of compression or and the location of image data okay so that is a file header so file header is done color tab in bit tab is also done and then now we have vector graphics okay so let's talk about vector graphics vector graphics vector graphics okay so whenever we talk about vector graphic it uh, you all know what is a vector graphic right we have we are living in the 21st century vector graphic is so common at our photoshop at our illustrator Peter, people making uh, uh, I, you know people making logo logo design and uh, posts facebook posts you all you all know that right it is made from vector graphics and these vector graphics their image quality is very good it's so good and when if even if you try to zoom in or zoom out it doesn't uh, affect the quality it will remain the same okay whatever you do it will remain the same and the only thing that's uh, the only dra drawback here is that you cannot use these vector graphics for digitized images photographs okay photograph of any uh, you know digital photographs you cannot use for that because vector graphics are the image the vector images are made from shapes and lines and yeah it's made from shapes okay bitmap images are made from pixels but these vectors these vector images are made from shapes number of shapes circle etc so let me write down points so a vector image use vector image uses scalable shapes such as such as straight lines straight lines and curves okay and so these shapes, these lines, curves, etc. They use coordinates and geometry in a precise part of the image. Okay, the list contains a command for each object in the image. Each command has a list of attributes that define the property of the image. Okay, you can write another point that the advantage of vector graphics. is that it can be arranged it can be enlarged without the images becoming pixelated okay so these are two points and now we need to understand what is the drawing object what is the drawing property? What is the drawing list? Okay, so let's start with the drawing object. Let me you let me write down the definition. Drawing object. So 
so a drawing object is more like uh, a drawing you know composed from a toolbox of available shapes you might have used Adobe Illustrator or any other software for making vector graphics so you must have seen on the left side that there were there were, that there is a toolbox of shapes like rectangle straight line or other and other drawing objects so these are those are called drawing objects the drawing that is composed from a toolbox of available shapes okay let me write down the point drawing is composed from a drawing is composed from a toolbox of available shape available shapes rectangle straight lines and thousand of others called drawing objects so these drawing objects are those you know shapes square polygons rectangles lines which made up the image vector graphic image so these are called these individual drawings are called or drawing objects okay called drawing objects so the next thing is what is the drawing list so the drawing list is a vector any vector graphic file contains a drawing list each uh, it is a command of you know of each uh, you know it is more like thing is every vector graphic file contains a drawing list and that list contains a command for each object object including in the image okay so it's more like a com uh, it, uh, let me write it down every every vector file graphic file contain every vector graphic file vector graphic file contains a drawing list So every vector graphic file contains a drawing list and each drawing list the list contains the certain commands contains a command for each object including in the image it's a list it's a command list uh, it's a it's a list of commands for each object for each drawing object for each drawing objects like lines circles rectangles etc etc which are included in the image okay and the last thing here is the has a list each command has a list of attributes each attributes defines a property of the image of the object of the drawing object so each command has a list of attributes having the lists of those attributes each attribute define the property of that image the property the drawing property of the object so now what is lastly what is the drawing property okay if we all know what is a drawing object but what is a drawing property let's discuss the drawing property okay so a drawing property is uh, the drawing properties are attributes uh, of that object the attributes such as file stroke dash arrowhead brush pattern gradient etc so these are all just the drawing properties is nothing more than just an attribute it's just it's nothing more than it's just an attri attribute for the drawing object okay attributes such as fill and stroke 
fill and stroke dash arrowheads brush patterns gradient etc okay another point i can write like it defines one aspect of the appearance of the drawing object nothing more than just an appearance appearance of the drawing object so it just understood about the triangle property so it's always uh, discussing about the attributes and the appearance of the drawing object okay and, 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 and when we and, I, and, and when we talk about attributes i mean the um, you know the pattern the gradient the color and all that good stuff of uh, the attributes okay every object has its own attributes every object every object has its own drawing list okay each command has a list of attributes each attribute defines a property of the object okay and drawing list is nothing more than just list okay so that's that and now the only the only last thing here is the difference between bitmap and vector graphics so let's talk about the difference between bitmap images and vector graphics we have quite covered a lot completely it's getting bigger and bigger let's start from here choose this color bitmap bitmap images vector graphic images Let's start with point number one. The difference between these two is vector graphics are not good for complex. They are not suitable. Let me use different color. Not suitable for for a complex image. Which, uh, for example, digitized images. Because they are made from shapes and line, and it, it will look a bit weird, you know. It's not made from pixels. But bitmap images are definitely used for photographs. They are typically they are typically. acceptable typically acceptable for digitized photographs digital photographs and they are used for making logos logos types and of course fonts even fonts are made from vectors okay and another point is best for images best for images that needs that needs to have a wide range of color graduations okay these are they are made from made up of tiny elements tiny pixels 
of different colors okay they are made from this and they are also called raster images okay their file formats could be they are usually png or jpeg okay and as for this vector graphic images have high resolution high quality clip art and they are developed and sold as vector images as well okay they are often sold as vector images obviously they have a high quality and high you know high resolution they have the, they have the advantage at some point high resolution high quality clip art is often developed and sold okay and the last part I will write down is the file format could be usually SVG ODG CGM I think SVG is quite common I don't know the other, the other two you can write another point that that would tell the difference between these two is that they are constructed using constructed using mathematical formulas okay constructed using mathematical formulas describing shape color and placements okay describing shapes colors and placement okay they also uh, the uh, yeah so that said that's I think it's enough to write down these I mean these points are enough to make a differentiate between these two the bitmap image and vector graphic images all right and I think everything is done let's recap so first of all we we, just, we have we started with graphics multimedia graphics okay if we started with bitmap images that what are they and what are they made from they're made from pixels small blocks of addressable areas and the, color, and the color they are represented by binary bitmap images are organized as a grid of color squared called pixel pixel can have a okay and when we talk about pixels if you try to zoom in or enlarge the pixel are stretch or you know uh, if you try to zoom in then the pixel will be stretched and it will be it become pixelated it will lose the quality okay then we talk about the color tab and the bit tab and how different uh, and what are the difference between these two uh, color tab and bit tab are in in some sense that um, you we use these uh, color tab and bit tab help us to make colors okay uh, let's say if color tab is uh, having uh, is 8 so 2 of power 8 is equal to 256 available colors okay it helps us to make new colors number of bits your user represent a pixel is called the color tab and RGB scheme if it says 8 bit tab then it means that uh, 32 bits per pixel okay then we talk about the image resolution and the screen resolution the image resolution is the number of pixels that make up an image the, Im the screen resolution is the pixel the screen display horizontally and vertically okay each have different and it uh, and, and it also uh, there is a uh, the connection between the screen resolution and the image resolution if the screen resolution is less than image resolution then obviously the image will not fit in, into the screen uh, it, and it, it will lose some pixels and you know the, the the quality will be poor but if the image is smaller than the screen resolution 
the image then that image would would be extended to to uh, to, ma to match the size of that screen okay but it will become pixelated soon since we are stretching it out okay then we know ppi versus dpi ppi and we also discussed about the file size the file header and now and then the vector graphics the drawing object the drawing list the drawing property okay what are these and what's the difference between these so that's all there is and we also discuss about the pixel density which is ppi or dpi okay okay so we discussed about pixels and vectors that's the difference right they are made from shapes circles etc and they are made from pixels the vector graphics uh, the rest of the graphic images versus vector images bitmap bitmap image versus vector images okay and then we also discuss about the pixel density this is the pixel density it means that in a square inch the number of pixels in a square inch 5 dpi means needs 5 pixel per 5 pixels in a uh, you know in a square inch right and the more denser the more the denser it is the more pixel it has per square inch okay the screen resolution we all know about it and and we also know that the difference every image contains pixels tiny blocks square blocks of pixels and the color depth is dependent on how many colors they are 2 of power 1 is the 2 colors which means black and white 2 of power 4 colors which means 16 colors there's red orange yellow green and these colors right here and you know purple and all that but limited colors the more colors we have the more tensor the more uh, details the image will have different kinds of colors and 2 of power 24 which means having so many colors this looks so realistic and that's the example that whenever you uh, that's the example of having larger color depth or bit depth okay and that's it i think yeah so that's completed um, the image part the graphic part is completed of multimedia and then in the next video we will discuss we will discuss about the sound and the compression techniques in this chapter one and then indeed by god will that this chapter will be completed okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next